U.S. crude today has again started the day on a slighter bearish note where uh, yes, 74 levels are definitely proven out to be a greater resistance than what we have seen last week, 73.874. And this is the near-term resistance levels also, precisely reversing from the same levels. At the same time, natural gas is again trying to trade with a positive note or trying to trade with a modest positive bullish bias. So now what to expect today? Which position you should take trading crude oil and natural gas? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment and also press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis. Next update will be released before the US session. Do watch that also. Also you can remain updated by joining my free telegram channel. The link is mentioned in the channel and video description. Let's start. First we'll look into natural gas followed with crude oil. Do watch till the end. Now if you look at natural gas on the hourly chart, see it is still right now trading in this bearish channel and you can see this is expanding in nature the top limit or the resistance level 2.68 and 2.7 only if you see it trading about 2.68 you can buy and specifically about 2.7 it will try to trade with more bullish bias where one can expect 2.7475 and then 2.78 and 2.8 so indeed we have to wait till then now if you look at the early chart see uh, the support here is 2.6 it has seen a rise consolidated now looking upwards Pos possibly we can see it rising till towards 2.64 2.68 levels or 2.6668 levels very very good resistance exists there see stock stick was overbought it has dropped a bit MACD is divergent bullish looking upwards good sign on the early charts RSI is almost flat here and if you look at 2 hours now see the moving averages, first of all the prices were divergent from the moving average, it has converged till towards here and these moving averages are also trading with divergence, bearish sign here. Now 20 period moving average definitely giving it a little resistance and hence above 2.65 or rather I would say 2.68 only further bullishness will be confirmed. Till then it is just a retracement and possibly you can benefit from the retracement if you buy it around. 2.64 levels however one has to remain extremely cautious as it can reverse any point of time it is still in the bearish zone at the same time a selling entry i will confirm now 2.6 is a greater support below that it may try to come to fill the gap at around 2.5655 levels which is a greater support now see stock stick has back to overbought levels the macd has now crossed over trading with little divergence and bullishness and this crossover is happening at a lower levels and hence it can try to show a little rise rsi is also looking upwards trying to show little bullishness coming to the three hour chart now similar observation on the three hour charts interestingly the 1500 period crossover is also seen here the prices have retraced till towards the 20 period it can try to at max reach this zone which is at around 2.68 very good resistance here yes if you see it trading about 2.7 stay long where we can expect more bullishness till towards 2.7475 and then 2.78 2.8 zone rsi is rising macd crossing over for a buy rsi is also trying to trade with a positive bias so stochastic rsi macd all trying to indicate slight bullishness look at four hour charts but remember uh, first it needs to break past by 2.7 then only for the rise and if it stays about 2.8 you can say that net gas has reversed and this is the time where it is going to fly high till towards 3n plus plus levels else you can see drop retracement drop possible retracement how high possibly this zone at 2.7475 this could be the maximum the stock stick is rising macd willing to cross over for a buy entry RSI is also trying to trade with a modest positive bullish bias. Coming to the daily. Now if you look at daily chart, see uh, triple bottom rise, retracement, rise, retracement, rise, retracement. So this could be the possible reversal here. You can see this. It is still trading in this bullish channel. Support is seen here at 2.55 levels. Very, very strong support. And hence any point of time in this week, if you see it trading about 2.8, definitely that will be the time where uh, you can say that it is reversed and we are going to look at 3 and plus plus levels. However, till then one has to be watchful. Now what it is trying to do for the day, see the step candle over the, because new candle has just now started. And if you see trading about 2.64, levels 20 period moving average you can still stay long for 2.68 then wait for it to break past 2.7 levels 
If it stays over 2.7, then you can confirm that the bulls are back for the day and more bullishness will be seen. Stock has ticket bottom. MACD. Now see, the MACD is trading with divergence and bearishness and, and it has still got some room for it to drop. So see the waves here. This wave is complete. Possibly a convergent crossover will bring more bullishness. RSI is flat. Considering this, I will recommend you to buy natural gas today at around 2.64 but then 2.66, 2.68. Uh, and 2.7 are three greater resistance zone beyond that 2.7475 will be seen and then 2.78 three level 2.8 levels will be seen beyond 2.8 is the reversal where it is going to fly high you can stay long for the rest of the week on the downside a selling entry is confirmed once it drops below 2.6 but then also 2.58 uh, 2.55 2.55 is the level below which you can treat net gas as bearish and we are going to look forward to a crash Take your trades accordingly. Now let's have a look at natural gas. Crude oil we will see now. Crude oil if you look at trading at around 73.3 levels. And, and before we proceed, yes, if you want to learn this art of trading, you should join my mentorship batch. 23rd batch starts on today, that is 10th of July. You can still get a seat. Reach out to me immediately. My telegram and email ID are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can be part of my signals channel. Again, reach out to only my telegram and email ID is mentioned in the channel and video description. Let's start here with crude oil. If you look at crude oil, see this is given a breakout here from 72 levels, the rise and now trying to retrace. Now it is still bullish. It can try to retrace at max. Only bearish confirmation is if you see oil trading below 72. And also on the daily charts, we know that 73.8, 74 is the maximum resistance level because beyond that oil is going to enter into a slight bullish zone we have seen that 74 earlier as a greater resistance since last few weeks now if you look at early charts specifically you can see here uh, it is it is the price is divergent from the moving average now waiting for the moving average to also come up possibly it can retrace still towards these levels or at best still towards 72.5 now as i expect till 72 still one can remain bullish now the moving averages have started to look upwards possibly it can continue with that trend however right now it is retracing 72 73 is a greater support below that 72.5 only below 72.5 further bearishness is going to be seen so yes you can sell at 73 levels too. but remember you can see the rise and the retracement the candle size here and here is different and is still to be treated for a retracement now this is also forming a flag and hence any breakout above 73.8 or rather 74 just stay long above 74 levels. Stochastic back to oversold. Now see MACD interestingly has crossed over from a top and trading with a little divergence. This is a bearish sign for the little while. RSI has dropped also and on the two hour charts similar observation price is divergent from the moving averages 50 period 20 period moving average situated at around 72.5 levels very good support here. And then 72 is the ultimate support. Stock ISTIC has dropped. MACD is crossing over for us or converging here. Not crossing over but converging here. It can cross over also. RSI has dropped. And if you look at 3 hour charts, extreme divergence from the 20, 50, 100 period moving average. But this also indicates that the moving averages are now looking up. So a slower and bearish move. Wait for the moving averages to come up and then we can see a bounce back. So yes, it is trying to trade bearish. Possibly it can try, try to achieve at best till towards 72.5 levels. Stochastic overbought. MACD willing to converge crossover. RSI is overbought and hence looking forward to a drop. And same observation on the 4 hour charts as well. Here also it's stochastic is overbought and MACD is looking forward to converge crossover for a sell. RSI looking down. Coming to the daily chart, now see if you look at the daily chart, see it has formed a good megaphone pattern here. Also, you can see whenever rise follows with a drop and then this rise higher highs. Now also you can see 74 is a greater resistance. It is now striking to the top of this. Also, you can see this is also the top of the Bollinger Bands and hence we are seeing a pullback. Second observation, the now moving average is the daily moving average is now willing to cross over. And it is also converged a bit. Now if you look at, see this is what it is trying to trade in. Now the daily support levels are at 71. And for the day 72. So uh, first of all, yes you can sell here at 73. But then 72.5 is the first and very strong support. And then 72 is the next 
next strongest support if it stays below 72 it can try to trade bearish for maybe a day or two and then seven uh, see till 71 yes it is extremely bullish till 71 possibly this should be treated as a reverse or uh, retracement here and then we can see a bounce back and hence you have to trade with caution but let's enjoy both sides trade and hence you can stay short if you see it trading below 73 but then you have to put the stop loss at cost and trade accordingly on the upside a buy entry is only above 74 now beyond that certainly we can see more bullishness beyond 74 i will look forward to a greater bullish move till towards 75 and then 76.5 78 also but not today yes this is near term maybe in this week or maybe by next week it could try to achieve those levels take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss and a trading stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship badge join my signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you